When you sit in front of your doctor, your doctor cannot know what treatment will work for you. I was shocked when I found out. In the first place, for almost half of medical treatments in use, there is no proof of effect effectivity at all. This was shown in a, in a famous study that was published in the British Medical Journal. So for one in two treatments, nobody has ever shown that they really make you better when you get sick. And the proof for the other half of the treatments is based on only a fraction of the patient population. So the research is based on young, white, healthy males, while in the Netherlands alone we have 5.3 million chronic patients, 1.9 million patients with a migration background, and over half a million people older than 75 using more than five medications at the same time. And these are the patients that are hardest to treat. And furthermore, the results of studies are based on averages. But treatments have different effects on every unique human body. And 50% of medical studies give different results when they are reproduced. So how can a doctor trust research? So a doctor does not have access to the right information. But what does this mean? This means that people stay sick when they don't have to. But it can also mean that people die. According to Professor Goethe, who is one of the founders of the Cochrane Collaboration, the wrongful effects of medication is now the third leading cause of death in the United States and Western Europe. We met in September 2014, when we both participated in the Dutch national think tank on big data. We immediately found each other in a shared conviction. And from that moment on, we spent all our time on it. Our conviction is that we can use the digitization of the world to make healthcare smarter and much, much better. I studied medicine. I've learned how the human body works. I've seen how medical research is done. And I've seen how doctors have to make their decisions. And I'm a theoretical physicist. And I've always wanted to use my analytical skills to have true impact on the real, ever faster changing world. And we would like to see a world where there's proof of effectivity for every treatment, and that every single decision in healthcare is based on solid evidence. And this is possible in the digital age, where doctors are generating more and more data each day. This gives us the opportunity to learn from every single patient, including children, women, elderly, ethnic minorities, and the millions of patients with multiple diseases and medications. And we analyze from all these patients, which patients are similar to you. Because you are not an average patient. And we learn what treatment will work for you based on the success of treatments in practice for similar patients. This is about gathering much more information from many more patients and processing it in a way such that it allows doctors to do better what makes them so valuable and irreplaceable, which is combining different forms of information with the knowledge and experience and making a decision that fits with the personal situation of their patients. And using data, we can learn from the experience of patients as many times as we want. It costs only pennies and seconds to do a tailor-made research and the results are based on up-to-date information that directly benefit doctor and patient. And by presenting the expected outcomes for an individual patient, we provide the doctor with all the information he needs to choose the treatment that will truly benefit his patient's lives. And the best thing about this tooling is that it learns and improves every time it is used. We've experienced that without medical knowledge, you cannot learn anything from medical data. That's why we've been spending most of our time working together with both medical experts and doctors. Big data and healthcare truly is about combining the best of both worlds. Yeah, and big data and healthcare truly is like teenage sex. Because... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
everybody is talking about it. Everybody wants to do it. Everybody is saying that they are doing it, but nobody is actually doing it. <laughs> so we wanted to choose a starting point where we could be of help for a doctor and patients starting from today. So we chose bladder infections. Up until now, doctors have been basing their decisions on 17-year-old research based on about 400 patients at a time, whom are all relatively healthy female patients. It took us three months to analyze recent data of over 250,000 bladder infections, including 12,000 pregnant females, over 80,000 elderly, and over 50,000 men. We have shown that even for one of the most simple and common diseases, we can provide doctors with new and solid evidence to base their decisions on. So we radically transformed the way we learn what treatment will work for whom. But it feels like a very small step to us, because for now we've only been using medical files that doctors have been generating for years. But there's a tsunami of information coming our way. It's data of increasing quality. All medical devices gather very valuable information. We generate, generate terabytes of data, data of CT scans, MRIs, patient genomics, and patients themselves track their sickness and health through a lot of wearables and apps. Our dream is to make the doctor the point of convergence of all this information, such that you get a treatment that works for you. Thank you.